you were born and raised here, but you obviously have tasted Iraqi cuisine, I'm yeah. guessing. Oh, 100%. What's the, at least the one yeah. dish that people need to know about Iraqi cuisine? Because I know Iraqi food is uh, good. First of all, this is your first time here, so my mom was offering you shisha earlier. She, yeah, like, I know well, shisha. I don't, I don't smoke tobacco personally, but you yeah, know we, we get we get shisha back home as well. Okay, so perfect. we have our own shisha bars In America, and stuff. they call it hookah. And I was yeah. like, bro, you can't say that. Like, <laughs> hookahs, I thought it was the recent stuff. Well, no, because they, they, instead of, they can say hookah because they say she's a hua. You know, oh, it's a whole different. Tony Soprano and all that, you know. Um, my favorite personally is something we call bamia. Bamia. So bamia is okra, or we call yeah. them ladies' fingers. Right. And it's cooked with like a fine lamb, like, uh, and it's like a stew Keep talking, with man. rice and <laughs> mouth's watering over here, man. But, bro, like, trust me, my mum has the ability to, like, cater for a folk. See, when you come to my house just for a family meal, she's cooked for, like, three families. So like, trust is me. The, is, is it, no, Matt, it's the same back home. It's like if there's a family meal, there's a first course. There's potentially a second course. There's something in between the courses. Then there's the two courses. There's gonna be dessert. Oh, 100%. And like, yeah. I don't do dessert anymore. See, since I've been made redundant and my knees sort of mm. messing up, I have just been sitting Get and enjoying my mom's food, man. But like, honestly, nah, listen, I've, so I know you, what it's like. I so was in lockdown. So there's Bamia, there's also, I don't know if you've heard of Dolma, you might know that, oh, because oh. the Ottoman Empire did rain. There's Dolmades. Dolma is like vine leaves wrapped vine, in leaves. Yes. We, okay. So yeah, so the Greeks called it Dolmades. We have it, we have the stuffed cabbage and we have the stuffed yeah, vine leaves yeah. with rice and mince. So my mum does all of them, but she does even like onions, carrots, does any fruit you can, you can do think veggie with, with uh, and puts, puts the rice in it. But yeah, bro, I mean, I think nice. they're my favourite, but like... She has like a very, she does like a British Arab cuisine as well, which is quite enjoyable. She mixes the, the cultures yeah, yeah. up. And when I say mixes, yeah, mixes the cultures. But that's the beauty of it, yeah, man. That's, that's how new stuff gets that's created. Exactly that. That's exactly like, that. I have, I have one thing that I cook that people argue with me about, right? But go on, go on. It's going to be controversial now. This, yeah, this mean, is, it's this is where we... It's just the name that I call it is controversial. So I cook what I call a pizza egg. A pizza, okay. okay. Mm. Well, this, okay, I'm um, right. Hopefully, Italians are not gonna. Okay, oh, I've, I've, my little sister's boyfriend's Italian. I'm pissed off when he takes me to places where I can't order chicken on a pizza. I'm like, bruv, come on. But anyway, we're not gonna get into that argument. So, my pizza egg consists of right, pizza some egg. meats, maybe sausages and stuff, or sorry, onions first, then I'll put the sausages, then I'll. I think you just call it an omelette, maybe, right? But it's not an omelette because I slice it up and it slices a pizza. It's a okay, circular so you, shape. Okay, so you basically make an omelette that's like a pizza, but it's like a thicker omelette? Yeah, or? it's a bit thicker. Have you seen Japanese way. omelettes? I have not. So no. Japanese omelettes are basically like that thick. Oh, shit. So, yeah, yeah, it's a deep pan pizza egg. Right. Right? So, yeah, I have a pizza egg that I cook. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, Arabs, for, for Arabs, it's what people don't understand. And I'm, like... Indian culture is a lot more spicier. Yeah, Pakistan I do love culture it. I do a lot love more Indian spicier. Food. But Arab food, I love Indian food as well. Arab food doesn't have the spice as much, but it has so much herbs. And yeah, it has flavors. It has. Yeah. I mean, it has spices that are not necessarily chilly. Yeah, Kum, cumin. Cumin. Uh, cumin. Not Arabic. Kum, cumin. Oh yeah, cumin. I, I saw turmeric. Turmeric as well. Turmeric. One of my friends. Um. Well, I think he's. Well, he's actually his parents are from Iran. Because mm -hmm. he's Farsi. Mesopotamia, bro. There's right, but he's Mesopotamia. like, I saw that, that was the first time I had like a grill that was using mint. Okay. And I was like, okay. A grill? No, no, it was basically, I was having, it was, I think it was some sort of kebab. Okay, okay. But, yeah, but it's a skirt like that. Yeah, sheesh. but then, but as a side sort of salad was mint. And I was like, that's. Wow. Okay. That's a new thing. I've seen the mint, yeah, because the mint with a yogurt spread almost. No, this was like just. Men that you ate as like a slight side plant like, to like yeah oh i think we do that as well bro i think i'm sure we have got men. i mean i wouldn't be surprised because you know uh, bro, nearby, yeah, must have, in the region before we go the arab language is so interesting in the way because everyone can understand everyone but they're all different it's like scottish english newcastle it's a bit like Liverpool. slavic yeah or so, yeah, but Slavic languages have that sort of vibe about them as well. I never knew, even though I was born here and I learned my Arabic here, that my Arabic is purely Iraqi. So when I went and lived in the Middle East, I would be like, um, which is like, can I please have a spoon? But the way we say khashoga, they say ma'la. And then in Iran, they say khushk or something like that. So it's like, my... again, second time, but we, we, we're back. 
we recovered quite fast. That's it, that's it. Uh, yeah, you're just talking about Arab culture, yeah, differences in Arab culture. Dif differences in words, like, but there's so similarity. But yeah, so the Iraq has a lot of them, um, or Iran and Iraq has a lot I mean, of similarities. Hang on, so Ar Arabic language, I mean, it went all the way through the Moors, all the way to the south of Spain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I so, was actually doing, and that was during the the Dark Ages, bro. So that's yeah. when I got lost in that period. Was the so yeah? I mean, the language though, as similar as it is, as as I was saying, it was different. So people could tell that I was Iraqi straight off the bat just because mm. of the words that would say. Because yeah, I mean, wow, because I'm just thinking about it. this. Basically, you got North Africa because mm -hmm. one of my pals is from Sudan. He speaks Arabic, but yeah. Sudanese Arabic. Sudan, which is like my mate Amory, but Sudanese Arabic and Egyptian Arabic is very similar. And Egyptian Arabic is the pinnacle for the Arabic world for television. Mm. So everyone can understand but Egyptian. I know Omar Sharif. Except me, bro. Zayek, ya bash, ya ya sidi, they're very. They're American. Put it that way. Like, oh, okay, the they way that they're very express excited, it. expressive. Oh. Yeah, sorry, that's the word that I'm looking for. Egyptian. So, so you're saying Egyptian Arabic is basically the. Come on, what's the matter yeah, with? Yeah, and then if you go to Lebanon, Lebanon's known as a the most beautiful humans. Even their ugly humans are gorgeous. Right? Would you Great say? food, though. Oh my god. Are you? Le I, I'm, they they got me with the. Uh, Garlic sauce, no, oh, with wow. those garlic sauce like yeah, Lebanese. Be careful when an Arab asks you for garlic mayo here, though, in the shots. When you see him and he looks at you, he's like, You want some garlic mayo? And I'm like, I'm always like, Oh, hell no. Just the way they say it freaks me out, man. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so in the Lebanese culture, where the way they speak, oh, it's so polite and sexy. It's just, Hi, baby, honey, Kevin, hi, and it's so weird, you know? Like, it's just so light and. Well, okay. Was Iraqi, bro, we are Habibi, <laughs> Khashoga. <laughs> Similar to Interesting. The See, the thing is, I'm training my ear to hear the differences because mm. that's what happens when you don't have the context. It takes a while to start picking up the. How did I tell you to say Falkirk? An afternoon or an afternoon. It's the language understanding. Yeah, that, yeah, that was. So today I finally found another a Scotsman in a long while that could not understand. Mm. It's been a while. Yeah, man.